Hello, my YouTube family. This is your host, Aaron, here. This is Times with the Narcissist Explain. I hope all has been well with each and every one of you all. Um, tonight, I just have a story of an envious friend or what an envious friend would do. Some of us in our life, we've encountered some pretty crazy um, envious people. Um, one of the key characteristics of a envious person is that even when they're supposedly celebrating your wins, basically you've achieved something, they're kind of like passive aggressive. They may say something positive, but it comes off aggressive. Like there's hate, anger, animosity behind the words that they're saying, you know, or it's a lot of times they'll um, sneak this, you know, you just, you, let's just say you graduated with an associate's degree and you got an envious friend. An envious friend is going to be like, well, yeah, you got an associate's degree, but I'd be really more impressed if you got a bachelor's degree. So you go get the bachelor's degree. Well, you know I mean, you did get the bachelor's degree, but you know, you know, when you get that master's nigga, when you get that master's, you know what I'm saying? Then I could look at you like you really big dog, big dog, big popping. You know what I'm saying? And so you get the master's degree and then they start to show who they really are, their real hate. Right. And so, you know, now before I get to my story, I'm going to talk about a story of a, uh, I think it was an African chick. Uh, it was like an African chick and her friends. They was at a bar and Basically, they was there because they were celebrating the African chick's um, promotion, right? She got promoted at the job. I think it was like a pay raise or whatnot. And so, you know, she gets up and goes to the bathroom. The friends at the bar started putting stuff in her drink. So when the African chick was walking to the bathroom, a guy saw her friends put something in her drink and stopped the African chick, and was like, listen, when you go back to that bar, do not, I am repeat, do not drink that drink. So when the African chick went back to the bar and the friend's like, hey, yeah, yeah, take the shot. Yeah, come on, have this drink. Yeah, we're going to celebrate your achievement. Um, The African chick was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not drinking that. Matter of fact, you drink it. And then eventually... She was like, well, did you put something in my drink? And the first thing one of the friends says, well, you over here doing all nice for yourself, living lavish, and you getting all this promotion. You know, it was like a lot of people don't have a spiritual backbone. What do I mean by that? When dealing with spiritual warfare, they allow the evil forces to use them at any time. And this is why you can't have pity for them. To me, I wouldn't recommend being friends with them. I wouldn't recommend having children with them because if somebody's going to allow something like jealousy or envy, you can't be happy for somebody else's success. Instead, you want to spike their drink so they can be brain damaged for the rest of their life. Obviously, you have no spiritual backbone. You are not somebody that somebody should ever be around, should ever have children with, should ever even take seriously. Cause you a backstabber through and through. Let me tell you my story. I used to be in a rap group back in the day. Um, I'm not going to mention the name, but um, one of the rappers in the group, I used to do music with him. Um, but when I started doing music on my own, cause I was like, shoot, I can't just do music with him all the time. I might as well do my own music as well. I, I mean, it's not like I can't do music with him. I mean, I can do music with him, but I can also do music, you know, solo dolo as well. So when I started making music on my own, he heard how good it was. I used to have a MySpace music page. This dude was like, hey, I got some beats on this flash drive that I uh, that I want you to listen to. You know, it's back in the day, you know, people was using, you know, Windows 7, Windows XP, you know. So this is like early 2000s, like 2009, 2008. 
Um, so he shows up to my house. He gives me the flash drive. When that, as soon as I put the flash drive in, my computer caught a nasty virus. I'm talking about I couldn't even use the computer anymore. I had to get rid of the tower. For those who know the computer lingo, I had to get rid of the tower. The monitor was fine, but the tower with a hard drive and stuff and the CPU was in, I had to get a whole new tower. And I couldn't look at him the same after that. He kept saying, bro, I ain't know it had a virus on it. How you don't know? You know? And then I think when I went to his house later on, his computer wasn't working. So that's how I knew he was lying. So, you know, I couldn't trust him after that. Because he was upset at the fact that I was doing music on my own. I was like doing songs, you know, without him. And it's like, I think with him, he was just jealous of the fact that I was doing talent. You see, a lot of times when people want you to do stuff with them all the time, that's how they try to gain control and try to manipulate decisions for you. Right. And so one thing about me, I don't, when it comes down to music, I don't trust a lot of engineers. I would love to post some music on this channel. You know, I'd rather engineer my own stuff. I just haven't had the time to get the equipment yet. But when I do get the equipment, be on the lookout for some music because I will be doing my own stuff, doing my own engineering, recording, all of that. But I don't trust a lot of engineers because I've been to engineers and did some music, pay for mix, uh, mixing and mastering, and it came out horrible. Like, what the hell? You know, so it's like people do envious stuff because they envy like your talent. They envy your aura. They envy your confidence. They envy your creativity. They envy the fact that you're not codependent. They envy the fact that you have a spiritual backbone, right? They envy the fact that you're not easily swayed or easily tempted like they are. See, when the spiritual forces use them, the forces of evil, when they use them, and let me tell you something, man, these evil forces don't discriminate. It will use your mama. It will use your daddy. These people don't have spiritual backbone. That's why they say many are called if you are chosen. They don't have the spiritual backbone to answer the call. You understand? You did, and you're still doing it right now. It's not easy because you're up against uh, forces that you can't see because the eye can only track 1% of the visible light spectrum, right? So you can't really see what's really around you. Doesn't mean that they're not there, but they come in thought forms. They come in psychic attacks. But you have the spiritual backbone to fend them off, and that's how you grow in your spiritual power. They got a long way to go because they don't have any spiritual backbone. They just allow anything to just use them at any given time, and they get envious about some uh, envious over people. I'm telling you, man, there's stories of people who, you know, gave this person the world and this person still turned around and killed them because they were just so jealous of that person's gift, talent, you know, that person's ability to make stuff happen, that person's strength, right? So some of y'all have envious friends and they're real passive aggressive with you. You have to really watch that, you know, they're going to always sneak this they're going to always find a way to steer you in a direction that they think you should go. And it ain't genuine. It ain't genuine at all. All right. Well, listen, I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the message. I just had to keep it real with y'all tonight. Sorry about the last few messages. My voice hasn't been good. Tonight is good. So I just want to come on here and, you know, chop it up with y'all. But listen, y'all please be safe out there, man. And understand. There's a lot of envious people out here. They don't have a spiritual backbone. So they let anything use them at any given time. And that's a shame, you know. But I, all right, y'all. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye now.